Saved my life, mister. Here, please take this. Don't mention it, friend.
I'm gonna cut you a face worth looking at. Everything all right, madam? It's Miss. Oh. Oh, let me look at you. My gentleman caller. You remind me of my Peter. Have you seen him? I don't think so. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. He must still be at the saloon in Armadillo, talking to the musicians. He's such a fine man. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait, I beg you. Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was meant to be my perfect day. Please, sir. Something must have happened. I can't bear it. So you want me to go find your Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes, please, sir. I'll see what I can do. Oh. Just so you know, I don't take requests, mister. I'm looking for a man. Name's Peter. Fellow's meant to get married today. You seen him around? Who? Peter, is what she said. <laughs> you ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know. Where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. Well, then let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. What do you need done? It's my wife. She packed her things this morning and left me. <laughs> the dumb wench is still at the freight station waiting for the stage coach. If you could convince her to take me back. Her name's Rose. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. Now, you'll need more than talk with that bitch. He's the life of me, boy.
can't wait to get out of this hell. Excuse me, miss? Er, Rose? If that useless, whore-mongering bastard sent you, get lost! Miss, please. If only... You know what? Tell that bastard I ain't going back. Not this time. Not even at gunpoint. Sign an oath, miss. For better or worse. The way I see it, you should give him one last chance. Stop bothering me, you dumb cowpoke, or I'll call the marshal. Did you miss me, sweetheart? Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been an armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella and all. Wasn't here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. What happened to him? Well, what happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fella's Rest. Yeah, that's where he'd be, I'd guess.
about to hang my buddy and he ain't done nothing wrong. You gotta help. Don't think you'll be wanting this no more, friend. Howdy, friend. I didn't know anyone lived out here. Whoa! Now you can't rob the place now, can you? Now get! Friendly old bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends, friend. We all need friends, old timer. We die alone, but we live among men. You know, I was interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200 I could give you the deed of this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. It's a bargain, price the price. 
Just give me the deed, old man. This will all be over soon. Come on, let's get this over with. Comfortable?
I'm a bad man, friend, but I have a heart. <laughs> Turn, fools! Got the deed? Yep. Here it is. Yeah. Oh, there's blood on this deed, Marston. I didn't tell you to kill the poor old man. Here, take the money. That old bastard's got a son living up in Blackwater, so I'd be real careful not to publicize this sale too much. Unless killing entire families is a pleasure of yours, of course. Good luck with the property, McAllister. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Hey, mister. You surely won't regret a purchase. Southwestern Railroad says more trains coming through. Let's start. If you need something to bite down on, let me know. I'm thinking that were mutually beneficial. doing business. Thank you. That's perfect. Hello? Hello? It's Armadillo 731. What is it with these things? Hello? It's a new line. Hello? Hello? Sounds fun. What's happening? I have no idea. 
If it's important, they'll send someone down like they did with you. Suddenly, the world is full of days. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we first got here. We used to consider people from Dade County to be exotic. Now guys can get here from the Midwest, and they can do it in six days. Things have changed. <laughs> They've gotten away from me. Hello? I don't understand it no more, boy. Honest goodness. I'm not sure I do. <laughs> Marshal! Marshal! <coughs> Marshal! I've just been up in the canyon, spying like you said. I think I've seen me a couple of them rustlers. I think it was the Baller Twins and a couple of Mexicans. They up there right now? Well, it was a group of four men rounding up Mr. Gulch's livestock, and none of them looked like any of Gulch's hands, so yes, sir, right now. That sarcasm's most unbecoming, Eli. It's gonna hold you back in life, even worse than your lazy eye. All right, let's go. You ride with us again, Marson? Will you help me? I will try. And it'd be my pleasure. Marson, I ain't for all this government interference. Believe me, Marshal, neither am I. I try to keep the federal boys happy. I mean, we need all the help we can get. But what does a flannel mouse city boy who's never forked a bale of hay in his life know about a state like New Austin? Nothing, I reckon. All this manifest destiny hogwash, taming a wild land, bringing modernization and betterments to the West. It's only made the rich richer and the poor poorer, and it's killed a way of life. Look at what they've done to the natives for God knows how many years now. It's hardly like they're gonna suddenly start respecting a man's right to work his land. That's different. They're savages. It ain't that different, Jonah. Are you sure where's the Pollard twins, Eli? Sure as shoot. I'd know those boys any place. Not far now. Eyes open, boys. All right, boys, let's proceed on foot from here. Head for the fort! Be ready, boys. We're probably gonna be outnumbered. And those bastards ain't short on firepower, neither. Let's see how many there are. If we can take them alive, good. If not, smoke the sons of bitches. Music to my ears, Marshal. Come 
on, Marston. Let's push on. Look, the deputies are making progress. Hellfire! Watch out! More of the bastards! Then, Marston, just make sure you don't slow me down. I thought we were friends. There's a couple of the rat bastards. Deputies are making some ground over there. Look out! Here's some more! Look at here, friend. Get those thieving bastards! Stay with me! Good shooting, boy! Come on, let's clear out that camp. Watch yourself. Looks like they have some backup. Put down your gun and surrender! Come on! Pull foot, Marston! Tell the ballers to get themselves up or we'll kill every last one of you! Come on! I'm right here! See what you got. open. I saw a couple of snipers across the way. God damn it. Take out those snipers, boy. I'm giving you one last chance to put your hands in the air. Rest in peace, my friend. Are you kidding me? This looks as good a spot as any. Gather around and listen up. Let's get as close as we can before opening fire.
Nice and steady now. Don't leave yourself open. I know. So much for cover. Thanks, Marshal. We're indebted to you with our lives. Just get them cattle back safe. All right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Mr. Marston. Yes, well done. Now, about Williamson. I'll do what I can. You know, as you can see, this country is infested with all manner of scum. Say that again. Well, one other thing, Marston. Mr. Johnson, sir. It's Mr. Wes Dickens. He's missing. Who? Mr. Wes Dickens, the tonics merchant. He was doing town last week. Oh, the narcotic and bat piss salesman who cons housewives out of their money with promises of eternal youth. Yes, him, but I think you're being a little unfair. He's helped a great many of the county, and many of the townsfolk are really missing him. You hear that, Marston? We just butchered a gang of thieves, and the town is up in arms about a missing snake oil merchant. I am so glad to be serving such a wise and respectable people. Come on, Eli. I need him more than you now. This is mighty generous of you, mister.
That's a good price. This is dirty.
Searching around the bouts for a few plants I'm light on. Here's the deal. Whichever one of us gets back here first with the right plants. Come on! Here. I could really use a ride. Actually, 
Just a little something for my troubles. This is dirty.
come for me, then you'll get it. You found that no good piece of dirt. Thank you. Thanks a lot.
reputation, sir.
This is a messy one. got most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang. Come on! That sky don't look good. I'm starting to think somebody up there is conspiring against me. Are you a religious man? Not in any real sense. Sometimes I tell myself things happen for a reason. Like what brought me here was fate come a calling. But nobody made my path for me. We all need to look for answers somewhere. Some in big old books. Others in big old bottles of whiskey. Believing in some kind of divine purpose ain't gonna give me my wife and kid back. Pastor's who we are, Miss McFarland. There ain't no changing that. Faith is a luxury I can't afford. We have two herds out grazing in different pastures. We'll need to merge them and bring them all back. I think we can handle that. The cows get real ornery in bad weather. It's more work, but I'll show you how to deal with them. I'm gonna save my voice for the herd. It's gonna be hard shouting over this storm. Thank you. 
One day. Thank you, Miss McFarland. Someone needs to teach you some respect. You're in way over your head, son. This ain't nice, I know.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.